It's okay to be nervous. It's only natural. You were nervous your first time? No, I don't get nervous. You'll do fine. Just try to stay relaxed. I'm relaxed. You're sweating. It's hot in here. No, it's not. I know. I'm nervous. Yeah. The majority of the time, these things go off without a hitch. We're just picking up a friend from her house. Middle of the day on a Tuesday. Nothing to see here. Exactly. Go get her. Me? Yeah. Good afternoon, Sarah. Right, Sarah Walker. That's me. It's important to start reacting to your new name right away to avoid suspicion. Understood. Should we talk to her? Yes, please. The silent treatment is killing me. They wouldn't tell me where I'm going. I don't suppose you guys would. Afraid not. Protocol. Protocol. Driving someone you don't know to somewhere they don't know to begin their new life as someone else. This just routine for you guys? It's my first assignment, actually, so not routine for me at all. Probably not necessary to share that. No, it's OK. It's nice to have a little honesty for a change. Miss Walker, your husband is a very powerful man. He is actively searching for you with a great deal of resources at his disposal. Keeping you in the dark is for your own protection. My husband is an egomaniac with delusions of grandeur. He is perfectly harmless, I assure you. Then why are you in hiding? Sorry. I'm in hiding because my darling husband offered a million dollar reward to any lowlife who'd be willing to bring me back to him. <sighs> a million bucks. So what do you think he'd do if he found you? He wouldn't hurt me physically, but then I would have to endure him, and I guess that would be considered mental pain. This isn't a game, Sarah. Oh, you are far too serious, Mr. U.S. Marshal. Your husband changed the bounty. Oh, I'm worth more than a million now. Still a million, but now it's dead or alive. Are you kidding me? I'm afraid not. Whoa, Royce, what are you doing? Sorry, Sam, this being your first assignment and all. I is this a drill or something? What do you think? Dear God, do something. Don't do something. Just sit there. I like you, Sam. I don't want to shoot you, but you know I will. I do. Good. Take this exit up ahead. What are you going to do? A few miles up the road, you and I are going to have to part ways with our friend Sam here. I'm not going to kill you. By part ways, I just meant we have to drop you somewhere so you can't follow us. Oh, OK. Got a little nervous for a second there. I saw. The sweating? Yeah. Oh God, don't kill me, please don't kill me. Relax, relax, just breathe, just breathe. Good thing the bounty was dead or alive, huh? You making a joke right now? Too soon. A bit? What do you say we keep this between us? How's $100,000, huh? What's my other option? You tried to abduct Sarah to collect her husband's ransom. I was forced to kill you, heroically. So you were lying about the whole not killing me part? Sorry about that. I get it. So, what's it gonna be? I... Don't move! I'll admit it. You're nervous. I would be. I honestly didn't think you had it in you. Unfortunately, I already removed the rounds from your gun. That's not your gun. Why is that not your gun? I was too embarrassed to say anything when I thought I lost my magazine, so I grabbed my backup. Oh, boy. Okay, Sam, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Uh, don't move. You need to listen. I will shoot. You don't understand. I will shoot you. God damn. He shot me in the ear. 
You shot me in the ear. What is going on? It's a training exercise. What? We do it with all the new recruits. Except we normally don't have our witness executed. That was my idea. It does seem a bit over the top in retrospect. Hold on. You're telling me you had me believe you murdered an innocent witness and were going to execute me to what? Test me? Well, I kind of always wanted to use these squibs. I mean, these are so cool. Oh, totally. You really sold it, too. Very <laughs> impressive. Oh, are you two having a moment? That's so sweet. Enjoy it, because I'm going straight to the brass to report both your asses. Savannah Sheridan. <clears throat> As in deputy director, Savannah Sheridan? You know it. She's our boss. OK, then. Sam, you did a great job, OK? You were willing to step up, take Royce out if need be, and that is the spirit that this job requires. No hard feelings, yeah? I guess you were just doing your job? Uh, sorry about your ear. What do you say? Should we head back to the office? <sighs> we must. We may want to go to the hospital first. It's probably completely severed. Nah, I'm not worried about it. He doesn't get nervous. It's uncanny. Let's have a look-see. Your ear looks pretty terrible. Oh! Ah! Whoa! Three squibs, not two, for backup. <laughs> Someone a little nervous there, huh? Whew. Okay, I think I'm ready to go to the hospital now. Wait, how many squibs did I have? Come on! Four. That was it, I think. 